at the Hit Factory, and we're gonna break down. Uh, that helps cover your emotions and why you have to build your spiritual up as a warrior and how it helps you in battle. Now, a lot of the emotions that we go through, we've made them up. There was no sign under a tree that dropped out of the heavens that said that feeling there is anger, that feeling there is sadness, that feeling, these are just words that we made up to try to describe what we're going through at that moment as far as feeling uh, so-called good or so-called bad, so-called positive, so-called negative, you know, however you, however you, you choose it, um, we try to describe those moments, so we give them names, so you see somebody, else, they must be sad, you see somebody, else, they must be mad, and these are the terms that we give, but because of these terms and putting labels on them, they work against us, because, uh, anger doesn't have to be a bad thing. It's the execution of anger that makes it bad. So, if I'm, if we're walking through, the sh walking down the street, and you bump into me, and you make me a little upset, you know, a little mad, like, yo, why did he bump into me? He didn't see me. Go about my way. Now you bump into me, I pull out my gun and blow your face off. That is a bad execution of anger. Uh, this is bad execution of sadness. This is a bad execution of happiness. You can execute happiness wrong and it could blow up in your face you know we get those you know people take kindness for weakness that's the execution of happy and love in the wrong way because now people are feeding off you and using it against you or using it to try to abuse you in some sort of way so because of all of these emotions our spiritual and our spiritual growth and practice is what helps us to execute these so-called things that we're feeling in the correct way and especially as a fighter you know Rocky Marciano said one thing he's Rocky Marciano the great Rocky Marciano 49 and 0 said the first person that gets mad loses and he stumbled upon some real sh shit there is that to get angry in a fight you lose against someone that knows what they're doing such as with Burley or anybody else you get mad in the fight you get your ass beat down that shit ain't gonna help you all that incredible hawk shit ain't gonna work against somebody that knows what they're doing so even in street fighting you got a lot of fighters thinking that just because they got mad they win or they they throwing chairs around that you win the fight no anger is a feeling and your execution of it is going to show who you are that's why you see uh, arguments today. People are pretty much growing up kids throwing tantrums. Terrible executions of their emotion. They're throwing tantrums. You know, President Trump for this border wall, he's throwing a tantrum. Democrats, they're throwing tantrums. And these are grown folks. So this goes to show you that just because you grow old in numbers and your age doesn't mean you grow old in the maturity of your spirit, mind, and body. And this is why... Uh, to me, martial arts is one of the greatest things that help put all those things together. There are other things out there. Martial arts is not the only way. It's just one of my, it's a vehicle I found to bring all three people into the car, which is body, mind, spirit. And the spirit controls the emotional feelings and all these, you know, feelings that you're feeling from the universe because we are God. We're universal creatures. So we're feeling these dynamic shifts and we're trying to give them names like, oh, I feel angry. So if you take away the names, from them you can deal with them that's no longer anger that's just something you're feeling at that moment because if you put a name on and say i'm angry now you got to prove to the people around you what you're doing so you start kicking over chairs and slapping people just to prove that you're angry if you're angry there should be no you don't need a, a picture for anger you don't need this look for anger you can feel it and understand it and and, and execute it because anger can help small no the right amount of dosage of anger the right amount of dosage of happiness sadness all these things can help you but if your spirit is not controlling these things and they're just outside of you then you're being led by your emotions and that there can can bring a life of ruin stress and everything else you can think about you'll be popping pills for anxiety and all of that stuff so understand that your spirituality is the controller of your emotion just like my physicality is the controller of this you know controlling the physical you know my mental controlling my strategy my spiritual controlling 
the dynamic shifts in me that we call emotions that you must control because they are very dangerous to you and to other people. So, in this long-winded thing is that, like Rocky Marciano said, the first person to get mad loses.